Okay, remember that when you are evaluating expressions, zero over any non-zero number, so x here is anything that isn't zero, zero over any non-zero number evaluates to zero. That's not an indeterminate form. That's a, that's a number, zero. And any non-zero number, so x here once again is some number other than zero, any non-zero number over zero uh, basically evaluates to infinity. So this is also not an indeterminate form. Infinity isn't a number that we can plot on the number line, but we know what the, what the function is doing if it's approaching infinity. We know that it's growing without bound, basically. So if we're evaluating a limit and we get either of these results, we should stop there, and that is simply the answer. Let's take a look at an example. Okay, in part a here, the limit as x approaches 0 of x cubed over 2 sine x, you should be able to see that putting an x equals 0 leads to 0 over 0. So if we take the, the derivative of the top and bottom, then we have the limit as x approaches 0 of 3x squared over 2 cosine x. And this we can evaluate by substituting in 0. We get 0 over 2 times cosine of 0, which is 1, so 2 times 1. So 0 over 2 is 0, and we stop. This is not an indeterminate form. If we were to take the, the limit like that and apply L'Hopital's rule again right there, that would be a mistake. So L'Hopital's rule only applies to indeterminate forms, and this is not an indeterminate form. Okay, in part b here, the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 5x over x squared. Again, if we put in 0 for x right there, we get 0 over 0. So let's apply L'Hopital's rule. This will be the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the numerator, which will be 5 cosine 5x. over the derivative of the de denominator, which is 2x. And as x approaches 0, this is 5 times the cosine of 0, and cosine of 0 is 1, so this is 5 over uh, 2 times 0 is 0. 5 over 0, any non-zero number over 0 is infinity. And we stop. This is the answer. You could say the limit does not exist, or or you could say the limit is infinity, but this is not an indeterminate form. And so applying L'Hopital's rule again to this limit right here would be an error.